Welcome to UITM Clinical Skills Program. This is Clinical Station 1, Measuring Blood Pressure. In this video, you will learn the proper technique of measuring blood pressure using the sphygmomanometer. To begin blood pressure measurement, make sure the patient is seated opposite to you, with his or her arm at the chest level. Use a properly sized cuff. The cuff should cover at least two-thirds of the upper arm length, and the cuff's bladder at least equal to 80% of the circumference of the upper arm. Wrap the cuff around the upper arm, with the cuff lower edge, one inch above the antecubital fossa. Put two fingers on the wrist, and feel for the radial pulse. Next, inflate the cuff until you could not feel the pulse anymore. That gives you an estimate of the systolic blood pressure. Once done, deflate the cuff. Next, place your stethoscope bell or diaphragm over the brachial artery, just below the cuff's edge. Rapidly inflate the cuff, to above the estimated blood pressure, that you attain just now with palpation of the pulse. Next, release the air from the cuff at a moderate rate. Listen through your stethoscope, and simultaneously observe the mercury gauge, or the dial as the cuff is deflated. The first knocking you hear, is the start of the Korakoff sound. That reading you see when you hear the start of the Korakoff sound, denotes the systolic blood pressure. Continue to deflate the cuff until the Korakoff sound disappears. The reading you see when the sound diminishes off or disappears, marks the diastolic blood pressure. To supplement your learning, please go to our CSL platform to download materials related to this station. You are also encouraged to view this video again in our CSL platform to help you with your practice sessions.